Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices, serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. With one week until the November general election, the candidate seeking election to the State House of Representatives in the 94th District finally faced off. The Appalachian News Express hosted a closed forum where Republican Frank Justice and Democrat Angie Hatton were asked several questions on issues they will face if elected. It gives the, uh, uh, the voter an opportunity to see the candidates for who they are, what they are, what they stand for how they're going to get things going, how they're going to propel through the future. Both candidates will be freshman legislators if elected. Frank Justice has been with the city of Pikeville for 14 years, and Angie Hatton is new to politics. But both candidates want what's best for Eastern Kentucky. We're in this crisis, and I just felt if I walked away with the relationships that I've developed and didn't try to help our people that it that would be wrong and I just I wanted to offer it to them and hopefully they'll take it and we'll see what we can do with this economy like what we've done here in this town. It was just the, the strongest conviction to drive to Frankfurt and file to run for this office. I really had not considered it very strongly at all but I looked at the field of people who were running and none of them cared about my people the way I did. Both candidates also stressed what's best for Eastern Kentucky is jobs. We're hurting. We got our loved ones moving away. I just lost my nephew the other day. Uh, he took his four kids and went to Lexington. Uh, I've got one constituent over there in uh, Leisure County. Three of their children have had to move away. The last one, they lost them to Georgetown. But we have to come in here and diversify this economy and get these jobs back. We've been beaten on. We've been ignored. We've been forgotten in eastern Kentucky. And through bringing jobs here, and bringing an end to the drug abuse, I can help them get that dignity back. You can watch the full debate on the Appalachian News Express's Facebook page. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Shelby Steele.